right well we're waiting for uh, a bit of a heat wave to blow over here I figure it's time for some oval window action I can work on some parts in the garage where I don't have to be out in the heat so let's get started Probably not, but you know, this usually goes. Those are still there. It's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen one that old. It was still there. 55. That's nuts. Let's try this again. These are not like the ones, the old clips, the new clips, newer ones. Let's look at them. See if you guys can see that. Let's try a little closer. I don't know if you can tell. They really have one heck of an edge. Let's see. That's the only way those are coming off. Just like here. Uh, and that's original. If you look here, you can see, I get the focus here. You can see there's a real sharp edge on these. Original clips there. I don't think I don't know if I'll use them again because uh, they're pretty rusty. All right. Original bubble gum still on there. You see these things break. this thing I get up here all right oh yeah came loose came loose all right we get that off of there All right, on this car, I stay with the original shape. On this, on this hood, this 
so I'm not going to reinforce it like I usually do on one that I'm going to drive a lot. I'm not sure how much this car is actually going to get driven. I mean, it's definitely going to get driven. But you guys see, uh, I got some ideas on motors. I haven't decided, but we're not going to make it go super fast, but I'm going to make it something special. So, we will see when we get the engines later. Well, this ain't easy.
here. So I gotta make slice a spot in here. Open that up. And that'll be that corner. piece at a time. Process to make in this little piece. And, uh, hmm. Kind of does. Something like that. Probably have to just weld it in and finish it up. Uh, yeah. It's not going to matter if I stack metal right here because it's not going to ever, it'll just make it stronger right there. Can't see it. You can see it when you can't see it when you open up the hood because of the way I'm going to weld it. Just make it not too many stacking. Not too much. Hardest pieces I made in a while. And it goes like that. And that will go there. I think, I think I need to weld it in so I can shape it from there. And then cut like right here to make it go more narrow and bend this down so it comes a little flatter. I think that's the right shape. Yeah. I'll just weld all the way across and then grind it off so you can't see it. Flip this up real nice. Well, that in. Yeah. I gotta get that shape right. And this thing's in the right spot. So, I guess I better weld it in and then can go from there. It's a little off, but it'll be fine. Just fine. I ain't got that far. All right, let's look there. Cause you guys are not about right. It was cut right here. Got to fold that over. So let's cut down to that. This has got to go a little bit like that. And it's got to go. 
Hmm. Let's see, this one folds way over. this a little more. that down. Yeah, we're getting there. Just got to do another few more welds, I think, here. Something like this, the only way to do it. Weld those up. That's just a lap in there. It'll feather in real nice. All right, we'll watch your ears for a second. Yeah, how I'm doing it. This is not easy. It's not hard, really. It just takes time. Tighter than I want it to be. I have to cut that back open. Just stuff like this the whole way. Checked it on the car too, so we gotta do that. All right, weld it up. All right, got those welded up. I cut this off. So I'm gonna with this first, and then I'll just grind it the rest of the way. through with the cut off wheel. Take a look at it later. I think you guys know the task, right? Let's look at that. Looks like right now. And then 
We're making one that looks like that. So, just got a small repair to do that one, thank goodness. Okay. All right, so I got this thing, little piece here I got put in, and I bent that part down so that it lines up when it's flat. Okay. I'll weld this in, we'll take a look at it, and all I gotta do is cut this off. Once I get this bent, I'll cut that off and this off, and it should be about right there. Little tiny bit of finger of filler. That should look, you can't even tell. You won't even be able to see it. It'll look just like that. Same. I could bend it, bend it down in there or whatever. However I want to do it. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to do all that, but as long as it kind of has the right shape in the corner, that's good enough for me. Right, really all it would take from here is just a little bit of finger full of uh, glazing, kind of wipe over the welds and kind of clean it up, sand it. And this could look absolutely 100% perfect. You can't even see any of those little blemishes and all that. People go, oh, well, the filler will crack and all this. You can use flexible filler. I mean, there's not gonna, it's not gonna crack right here. This is all very rigid. It doesn't move. There's no flexibility there. Things where you need to worry about filler cracking is areas where it's under stress and this isn't, especially with this much reinforcement. That's why stacking the metal here was probably better than if I just butt welded. Like if I just butt welded this edge, that wouldn't be very strong. And eventually this might crack opening and shutting the hood all the time. But with it lapped like that and then spot welded along this edge, it's very strong. It's not gonna, it's actually stronger than the original and shouldn't be any issues at all with cracking. So we'll move on to the next piece. All right, guys, well, I can tell you the uh, batteries are dead, so I might as well figure out I better upload this and edit it up real quick. And we'll continue on on this. There's a lot here to do just on this hood. I did weld up these things as well. And then I've got that patch, remember, in the middle that I cut out. I still got to make the outer skin. I mean, I have to fit this thing, so it's got to fit really tight. You know, it's got to shut evenly all the way around. It, this car was never hit in the front, so there's no excuse for not having it like fit tight and tight, good. So I've got to try and make that work really nice. And But this was really bad rust right here. This is like extreme, extremely hard to make this stuff. And especially this part right here. If you didn't notice that. So luckily I don't have to do that much to this side. A little bit. But not, you know, if I got these lines, that's the thing that helps a lot. And then I can just make these little paths in this little top piece. Kind of make them all separate. If anybody watches Fitzy's Metal, he kind of does similar stuff that I do. Um, I don't know if he would have made this one. He would have probably made this in about 10 different pieces. Uh, I just don't want to do all that. So I 
made it the way I made it. And it works out fine when it's done. I mean, not saying that he doesn't do a good job. He does a great job. He shows some really cool stuff on his channel. And But, you know, if you've watched him before, maybe some of you guys have. You guys have probably seen him do that, you know. And that's that's about how this needs to be made in several pieces. So that's what I'll do there when we get to it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see more of this oval window. As the heat's here, whenever the heat's here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work inside as much as I can. I, there's no sense in me busting myself out out in the heat. You know, I'm just not gonna do it. Too old for that stuff. Talk to you in the next one.